Hey guys, it's Milo and we're back with another Tool Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about basics of soldering. So to start off, you're going to want a soldering station, some solder. You're going to want to preheat that and be very careful because it is very hot. Now we're going to strip back our wire and you can strip it back with a wire stripper. This is how we're going to make some nice soldering joints like this one here. So if you want to clean up this so you don't get any shorts, if you have a bunch of connectors next to each other, you're going to want to put your heat shrink tubing on there before you do your soldering. Then you can set it up, twist the wires together, get your soldering iron nice and hot, and then heat the surface. And you're gonna wanna fill in underneath the tip of the soldering iron with the solder until it gets nice, flowy, and glossy. You don't wanna have that dull, kind of rough surface. That means you have a cold soldering joint. Once you've applied a nice amount of solder on there, you can just wipe the tip of your soldering iron off on this damp, make sure it's damp, sponge, or there's some other cleaners over here. There, if you make some, some mistakes, there are some tools such as like a, it's like a little vacuum thing, you click it and you press it and it pulls the solder away. So that's kind of cooled off here. We can slide our heat shrink over our connection, we can turn on our heat gun. Let's wait for it to warm up here, just a second. Do -de -do 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 -de -do. No. Now that it's nice and hot, we can start to apply some heat with our heat gun onto this heat shrink. And then that's gonna make this a nice insulated connection that's gonna make it last a long time. We do have a completed soldering connection. Uh